Let me show you how to make a skill tree out of events. I'll go over how to have multiple branches, make it so you need the previous skill bot to get the next one, and at the end of the video, I'll show you how to add skills that need multiple other ones unlocked to purchase. So, once you decide on all of your skills and lay them out in any pattern you want, you'll want to make a switch for each one. Mine is set up so I have a starting skill in the center, and everything branches out from the middle. I've got 45 skills, including the center one, so I made 45 switches, one for each. After that, we'll make a new variable and call it total skill points. Then, throughout your game, you can add points to this variable, well, whenever the player gets skill points. On all of your skills event pages, you are going to want to copy and paste it until you have three total. The first page will be for when you can't buy the skill just yet, the second one is for when you can buy the skill, and the third one is for when you already bought the skill. So on page one, you could delete the graphic if you'd like, so the skill is invisible until you're able to purchase it, or you could just add a text saying something like, hey, you gotta purchase the previous skill. On the second page, all you have to do is, under the conditions, enable the switch, and put in the switch of the previous skills switch. So for mine, I'm doing orange one, and the skill I need to buy this skill is the middle one, so I put the skill center start here. Under the contents, you could put whatever you'd like, just make sure there's a way for your player to buy the skill, and under that, put a control switches, the skill that we're currently on, on, and a control variables, removing the appropriate amount of skill points. Then on the third page, we'll enable the switch that is for the current skill we're working on. So I'm on orange one, so I have orange one on. And then in the contents, just add something saying like, hey, you already have the skill purchased. This three page method works for skill trees that branch, but how do we lock a skill behind multiple different skills? If you only want it locked behind two skills, like for instance, I have this red hexagram down here and I want it locked behind these two orange skills. So for this, all you'd have to do is go to the second page and have both of the switches on for both of the perks that you'd want. But let's just say you want a skill locked behind eight different skills. I'll use my setup as an example. I have eight of these hexagrams and I want it so when all of them are unlocked, you'll be able to open this door up here at the top. So the best way we can do that is we'll add a new variable and call it something like need eight to unlock. Then we'll head to each and every one of these hexagrams. We'll go to the page two. We'll go where you purchase it, add a new control variables, pick the variable that we just made, add one. Then we could copy and paste this and put this on the other seven. So once we have all of them bought, this variable should be up to eight. Then we can head back to the door, go to the second page, and instead of doing a switch, we'll do the variable of the variable that we just made and set it to the amount of perks that we want purchased, and that's it. Now, there is another way you can do it, but I would highly recommend against it. Um, <laughs> what you could do is make a chain of conditional branches, all with your skill switch being on. Uh, you would put this in your first page and act as if the innermost one is your second page, just make sure you put an exit event processing at the end, and then your actual first page would go down below. Again, this is pretty funky, and uh, yeah, I, I would just recommend not doing this method. I just wanted to show it off because it was a little funny. But uh, yeah, that's everything. That's the end of the tutorial. Um, if you enjoyed this content, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Put any questions you have in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.